You know what a periscope is? Of course you do. It's a special tube that allows you to lift your eyes above your head. The periscope was invented or suggested by a Frenchman about 130 years ago. And the amazing thing is, he suggested it could be used in submarines, and submarines hadn't been invented at that stage. And of course now they're used all over the world. How can you make your own periscope? Well, I'm glad you asked. You'll need two mirrors and a cardboard tube. Use little handbag mirrors and try and find a tube that's just a little bit narrower than the mirrors themselves. This is a tube from aluminium foil. You can make your own cardboard tube if you like. Just try and make sure it's a little narrower than the mirrors. Then you'll need some scissors and sticky tape. Now the first thing you'll need to do to the cardboard tube is to slice off each end at 45 degrees. That sounds hard, but it's not if you have a rubber band that's about the same diameter as the tube. Place it around the end of the tube and carefully position it so that when you look at it from the side, it looks straight. That's pretty close to straight. Then take a felt pen and use the rubber band as a ruler and mark all the way around the rubber band, just as I am now. All the way around like that. Then remove the rubber band and when you cut along that line you'll have a 45 degree slice off the end of the tube. One more thing to do. Mark out a little rectangle on the high side, the upside, the bit near the end, like that. There we are. Now I've already done that on the other end as you can see. And I've done it carefully so that one slice goes off this way and the other slice is parallel with it. Now, it takes a little bit of careful cutting, but you'll end up with a sliced tube like so. Piece at 45 degrees there and a little rectangle cut out there. Then you need to place the mirror across there. That's easy to do also. Piece of masking tape across the back of the mirror. This happens to be a double-sided mirror, but a single-sided one will do quite nicely. And then rest the tube down on the mirror like that and just fold up the tape in this position here on one side and on the other side and do the same thing on the other end of the periscope which I've already done and you have it ready to go. Now when you look in one of the mirrors you'll find that light coming in the top of the periscope will be bent down the tube by the top mirror and then it'll hit this mirror and then it'll bounce into your eye. So you will now be able to see things with eyes that are up that end. So I can use it at football crowds to see over people's heads, or I can use it to look over the garden wall and find out what they have in the garden next door. And if you come in and have a look too, you'll find that they have something that looks like a, yes, it's a statue in among the flowers. It looks almost as if we have a hole through the wall. We know we don't, but our eyes are now lifted up and over the wall, and we can see from that height because of the periscope. <laughs>